What's your secret to making sure that these patients are buying treatment and leaving really happy? Like they're actually walking out, getting what they wanted. Starting from the phone call, the first impression, and when patient has really great experience from the moment they come in and we really show our care and we become really good friends. Once we earn their trust, it's easy to you know, close the cases. How have you kept your schedule open enough to get these patients in to be able to make sure that they come in a timely manner? We did talk about saving time for a new patient. We have a really, really awesome hygienist, right? And hygienist, the time is gold. So if the hygienist schedule gets really, really busy with all of the repair patients, how are we going to accommodate the new patient? We Welcome back to another episode. I'm your host, Gary Bird. I'm the founder of SMC National, where we help you create, convert, and close more new patients so you can grow the way that you want. And today, I have a very special guest, Dr. Grace Lee. She's going to be sharing her journey of working with SMC as a client and leaving to build out her own marketing department and then coming back and talking through her numbers. And she's in a super, super competitive market and this is going to be something that you're going to want to learn about because she has figured out not only how to get the patients through the door, but also get them to accept treatment at a level that's absolutely knocking it out of the park. Stay tuned. All right. I have my friend, Dr. Grace Lee here, and we were just talking about her amazing climbing adventures. Uh, she, If you don't follow her online, go find her online. She posts pictures of these mountains that she climbs, and she's climbing Mount Everest in just a couple weeks. And so I'm super excited about that. I want to see her do it. Um, some of the stuff she climbs with the ice and the the picks, I don't know all the names and the big, the shoes with the spikes, like she's like a hardcore climber. So she agreed to come on today and I'm so excited to, to have this conversation with you. So thanks so much for coming on. Well, thank you for having me, Gary. Absolutely. My pleasure. My pleasure. So Dr. Lee, so we met a long time ago. I think you bumped into me online or something like that. You reached out to me. You said, hey, Gary, I want to work with you guys. I want some help with my marketing. We worked together for a while and then you left and then you came back. So before we get into the numbers of like how you're doing as an office, because you guys are pretty amazing in a very competitive market. But tell me a little bit about that journey of like coming, working with a marketing company, leaving and then coming back to the marketing company. Yeah, I would love to share that. So um, I've been, I've had my practice for 20 years First, I say about 14, 15 years, um, I did not need the marketing. I just took care of a patient. So we had a good reputation. We had a lot of new patients. Um, and then I made a decision to expand. So we were opening two more locations. Um, and then I realized, oh, I can't do this alone. I need to find a partnership. I need to find the right company. So I found you. Um, I was very impressed on about what you've established uh, with your marketing company. And um, I do remember having a conversation with you and you said, um, Dr. Lee, you're really good at being a dentist. Um, and I agreed, <laughs> yes I am. Um, and you said, I'm really good at marketing. So um, you trust me to do your marketing and you continue doing what you're doing, which is you know being a really awesome dentist. Um, and um, I like that. So, um, so things that went on. And then, you know what? Com to be completely transparent, completely honest yeah. here, um, Gary, I think I just got lazy at some point. I think I started to be like, you know, um, I, I'm just going to hire this one person to do all the marketing and a phase out of it. And I'm going to do what I, you know, what, what I like to do, which is to see patients to come home and do other things. And, um, and to be honest, that did not work out that great. I think as an owner, it's easy to be like, um, you know, we hire, we recruit talents and delegate. Um, but I think the delegation has some, um, like you're not really going to find that one person who can read your mind or who can like really understand your vision yeah. or who can do hundred percent of what you do. Um, so I think as an owner, we still need to put some work in. Um, but I went through a phase of my life when I said, well, I have this director of marketing, so I'm going to go do other things. Um, 
I was in the mountain climbing. (laughs) Hey, got an important announcement for you. We are hosting the second annual Full Arch Advantage event where you learn to create, convert, and close more full arches so your office can grow the way that you want. This is going to be in partnership with BioHorizons, and this is our second year, but the important part is it's going to be virtual so you don't have to fly out, buy hotels, travel with your team. You can just register and block off the days and watch virtually. And right now we have early bird pricing. It's never going to be cheaper than right now. I don't even have a discount code because it's so cheap. It's only $199 right now to register. And it's for your team. It's for your dentists. It's for your treatment coordinators, your dental assistants, and your marketing managers. And you're going to learn a ton of stuff to grow. Last year's event had a 74 MPS score, which is amazing. And the feedback was really, really good. So if you're looking at leveling up, we have a ton of new content, a ton of new automations and things that you can add to your practice to really grow and executing on the phones to make sure that you can grow the way that you want. So don't miss this. Go to Full Arch Advantage right now and sign up. This price will not be around for long. Yeah. How many practices yeah, do you have now? With the, you're at four? Now, I have a four. four okay. I have a four. Um, so we ended up cutting uh, marketing costs with, um, we, we basically went and found a cheaper marketing company. Yeah. And we had a person, we had a direct double marketing um, position. And uh, I made the decision later on to, that that wasn't going to work out that well with the um, amount of expansion. I doubled the size. Of my main office as well as um, number of the locations, and we just really needed a big help. And I remembered um, my first conversation with Gary was Dr. Lee. We know marketing. You know how to become a how to be a dentist. So uh, we came back. That's awesome. Well, I appreciate the opportunity, and I appreciate you being honest. Right? I, I think a lot of people go through that, Dr. Lee. You're not the first person that's ever done that with us, where they're like, "Oh, I've hired somebody. We're good now." And we end up working with them again in the future. And the door, doors are always open uh, for our clients, obviously. We love working with you. And you're in a competitive market. I'll say that. You're in a suburb. You're not like in an easy market. You're in the suburbs of Chicago in nice areas. There's not only a ton of dentists. There's a ton of dentists on social media, tens of DSOs, tons of single location dentists. There's a lot of good dentists in the Chicago area. Um, and there's a lot of money there to be made, but there's also, it makes it tough. It makes it tough from a marketing standpoint. So I want to share some of your data. Now, quick shout out. We use Trackable um, to track all this, uh, trackable.io. And what it does is it integrates with Dr. Lee's PMS. So we can actually see what's going on with the marketing, which is huge. It gives us a huge advantage. So in the last six months, I have it from August uh, to January, we have spent $64,000. And your ROI from that has been five to one, almost five and a half to one, which is amazing. So you guys are doing a great job, Dr. Lee, of not just getting the patients in, but actually getting the patients to do treatment. What What are your thoughts on um, on that? Like, what's your secret to making sure that these patients are buying treatment and leaving really happy? Like they're actually walking out, getting what they wanted. We, we put a, a lot of a focus on um, creating a beautiful experience. Uh, we call that wow experience, right? Um, so starting from the phone call, um, the first impression, uh, we all talk about that, right? It's so important. Um, and when patient has really great experience from the moment they come in, um, and um, we really show our care, and we become really good friends, uh, once they can, once we earn their trust, it's easy to, you know, close the cases. Um, they know, patients know that we suggest certain things because we genuinely care for them. Um, creating that environment is not always easy, but if you, if we're very consistent on um, letting the team know, hey, this is very important, you know, let's rehearse it. Let's make sure when patients walk into our door, they feel welcome. Um, and experience it goes really well. I think the consistency matters. Um, yeah. So we have a big, we, most of our patients are, you know, they they get really excited about coming back and getting the work done. So you're so you're preheating them all the way through the patient journey to get excited about this treatment. And I, you guys do a really good job. I, I'll I'll show a number down here, Doctor Lee. 
the national average for converting marketing new patients is around 50%. You guys are at 74% and you've even been up into like the 83%. Now, when people see this number, it's not just calls. This is forms, chats, online schedules, virtual consult, it's everything put together. So when a marketing new patient reaches out to Dr. Lee's office, they're scheduling about 70 to 80% of the time, which is really, really good. And that's based on the qualified leads here. So how do you, how have you motivated and trained your team to make sure that they, they perform it's, you know, 20, 30% better than industry average on the phones and, and on any patient contacting you? Yeah. You know, my team gets all the credit, right? Um, yeah. How do I motivate them? Um, when you have the right people work for you, when you have the right team members and they get excited about that phone call, they get excited that every time they see online requests, I think it just, you know, it, it comes naturally. Um, you, you know, as, a, as an owner, I do the, the role of, if you need anything, I'm here. Um, sometimes we do talk about our conversion rate can be better, you know, to 60%, how do we make that 80%? Um, you know, the, uh, our session with the Shayna has been really good. She, you know, she's amazing. Mm. She will listen to the phone calls and, you know, go over the area where we can improve. Because sometimes if we have a good intention, we want to get that patient scheduled, um, but we don't have the right tools, right? Sometimes it's a, questions are challenging. Like, yeah. what insurance do you take? I'm actually not in network with uh any of the insurances mm. how do you get that patient scheduled with dr lee she's not in network yeah. when the first question they were asked was um do you take my insurance yep. um shannon was a you know she gave us the right tools and how to how, how to, to deal respond with that. Yeah. to that mm, i get yeah. that i get that all the time dr lee where people are like i'm a fee-for-service office so you can't really market for us and it's like yes you can you can market However, you have to train your team. And you're mentioning Shannon, who's one of our coaches who trains our offices on the phones because you have to learn specific phone skills to be able to do that. And that's, that's not easy to convert those kinds of patients, but Dr. Lee's office is doing it and doing it amazingly. Um, and so what that means is that they followed the coaching, which is really a testament to your, I know you're giving your, your team the credit, which they should get it, but your, your leadership has made them want to pay attention. Sometimes we have offices that we work with, Dr. Lee, their office doesn't listen. We we could tell them till we're blue in the face. And it's because the doctor hasn't made it a priority. So you've made growth, getting these new patients through the door really, really important. Another thing that I noticed is that you're, so if you look here, I'll just break down these numbers for the audience. So you're getting leads at $71. Now, not all those are qualified because some of them are calling Medicaid, some are ortho, but you have $108 for a qualified lead. For some markets, that might be a little bit high, but for where you guys are at, it's actually really, really good because again, it's very competitive. And then appointment scheduled. So every time you get an appointment scheduled, it's costing you $146, which is, which is amazing. So that means your team's taking those qualified leads and making sure they turn into appointment scheduled. And then it's $200 to get them through the door. So that means your time to appointment is good as well you're actually getting the patients in quickly. So you're not getting a huge um, spike in cost because that that happens a lot in marketing where people will schedule too far out and the patient will no show and then that dries up your cost. So how have you, how have you kept your schedule open enough to get these patients in to be able to make sure that they, they come in a timely manner? We did talk about saving time for a new patient. So like, let's say, we don't, we have a really, really awesome hygienist, right? And hygienist, the type is gold. We yeah. all know that. <laughs> um, so if the hygiene schedule gets really, really busy with all of the repair patients, um, how are we going to accommodate the new patient? We, you know, we try to get them in within three days, if, you know, and within, within a week or two, really. Um, we try really hard to get them in in three days. Uh, so we would save some of the new patients, but with our um, hygienist. Uh, we also, um, you know, those, so what happens is we, we watch these numbers very closely weekly. We actually do weekly meetings. The reason I like weekly meeting is we can, you can monitor these things. And if there's an area we need to pay a little more attention, um, I don't want to wait until next month to do that. We do, we do it right away. 
Yeah, that's really good. So you're opening. So if you're seeing that the cl- the schedule is getting clogged, you're actually meeting with your team and going over that and opening and making sure it stays open. Because I've yes, that's amazing. Because here's what I see happen. Kind of what you mentioned before, where you kind of went hands off on the practice a little bit and things didn't work out the way that you wanted to. Doctors do that a lot of times with their schedule. And what ends up happening if you're not checking in regularly? I've seen. I just met with a practice last week, Doctor Lee. This will blow your mind. One of their team members was blocking off spots on the schedule and not putting any patients there, just blocking it off. And they went to them and they said, why do you keep blocking these spots? I go back and I see all these open spots on the schedule, but you blocked them so new patients couldn't get in. And they said, oh, we just don't like seeing more patients after this type of patient. So when we have this type of patient, we don't want another patient after them. And they didn't talk to the doctor. They didn't, (laughs) they just blocked it off. And it's just crazy to me that, the, the schedules change so often, you have to really be proactive with it. Yes, yes. So we monitor schedule every day. We meet with the team every week. That's awesome. So what, there's going to be a lot of doctors out there that are listening to this, Dr. Lee, and they're going to be at like one practice, kind of where you were like five, 10 years ago, right? What advice would you give to yourself that old you that with the one location as you're starting to grow, what would be some advice that you would give to yourself to make your life a little bit easier? To make life easier or to grow faster? Grow faster. <laughs> to, to be, make your life easier to grow the way that you want. Okay. Um, you know, I, I look back at my, um, I look back and, you know, when you were smaller, I can tell you this. When you were small, when I had the three team members, the things were definitely easier. It's easier to train three, you know, it's easier to train and motivate three team members. When, uh, when as you grow, things are going to be a little more challenging. You know, one thing that I um, I did was I made sure that I have the right coaches. Um, uh, just like, you know, marketing. Gary, you know how to do the marketing. So what I'm going to teach, once we have a partnership together, I'm going to do everything you tell me to do because I trust you that you know how to do marketing. So growing business, I did the same. Um, I Once I have the coach, you know, a, a um, consulting company or the advisor, somebody who really knows how to run business, once I establish the relationship, um, I do everything they tell me to do. So it's kind of like training for Everest, right? I actually, I have an amazing coach who knows how to train me to climb Everest. So I'm going to do everything he tells me to do. So that's, I think that would be, I, I would say that's number, number one. Well, how do you, you know, how do you do it? I just, I just make sure I have the right coach yeah. well, it's so <laughs> and funny, follow their advice. How many times I, I've seen Dennis so many times hire people and then not listen to them. It's like, why would you pay somebody for advice and then not listen to them? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, make sure you have the good coach, yeah, though. Of course, of course. <laughs> and just trust, them. yeah, yeah, trust them. Um, and so, you know, I would say I made a promise um, when I started in my 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 small office. I had two team members to start. Um, I made a promise that I would sur- surround myself with people I love working with, mm. um, and I try really hard to keep that promise. Um, so look around. I mean, every single day you show up to work and be like, oh my gosh, I am so grateful for my team. I love, you know, I, when I think about my individual team members, I'm like, I love, I love her. I love her. I love him. I mean, it, that makes a, a huge difference. You come to work and you start the day with gratitude, right? I'm so grateful that I have my team. Um, it's never really going to be like all us, right? All me. Um, you're just really relying on your team. Um, especially these days, as the as the office grew, I'm only there half the time in one location. Yeah. So what happens three other locations, I'm not really there. Um, so yeah, at that point you're really trusting your team. Um, just make sure you have the team you you, you really trust and love. That's so good. Dr. Lee, thank you so much. I know you're very busy. You're getting ready to climb Mount Everest. You're running multiple practices very successfully. So for you to take these couple minutes and share with us and the audience what you're doing, how you're doing it, it means the world. So thank you so much. Thank you for having me, Gary. Absolutely.